Hey guys, it's Lauren from It's The Kellys and today we're going to talk about something a little bit different but definitely still travel related. Lately I've been getting a ton of comments and DMs about purses when you travel and it's a totally normal thing. You totally have to have a purse when you travel to hold all of your stuff, of course. A lot of people have asked if I like to use sling bags if I like to use crossbodies, if I like to use backpacks, do I buy the slash proof ones? So I've really wanted to do a big video about this and I still might eventually because I'd like to talk to you about kind of the pros and cons of which kind of bag to travel with. But what I wanna do today is show you two that I have been using a lot lately. And then also for featuring those, the company also sent me a backpack that I wanna show you as well because it's beautiful and it's good quality and it's pretty inexpensive. When you see the bag, you're gonna think it's a lot more expensive than it actually is. And they're all available on Amazon. If you guys are new here, I travel often and pack well and want to help you do the same. So whether that is actually helping you pack, whether it is reviewing items, or whether it's telling you how to get cheap flights and stay safe, I'm your girl for all things travel. So subscribe, comment down below, give me your video ideas, give me your questions, and uh, follow us on Instagram too. All right, so let's talk about these bags. This is from the company Bostanton. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, they are on Amazon. They have an Amazon store. And when I got to pick the products that I wanted to review, I had a really tough time choosing. There were a ton of really great purses, whether they were for travel or just for everyday fashion, and a ton of good backpacks, and they even have weekenders and all of that. But when I saw that they had really adorable fashion bags that would be good for travel, I said, that's what I need to show my viewers, that's what they've been asking for. So the first one I'm going to show you is the one I'm actually wearing right now, and this has been my everyday purse since I received it because I really wanted to use it before reviewing it. It's right here. This is super easy to be just a little everyday bag. Now, sometimes I bring a big tote with me, especially if I'm bringing my computer or something like that. But for the most part, if I'm going to work, if I'm going to Target, if I'm going to pick up my son from school, if I'm going on a date with Brian, this is my bag that I have been using and it is crossbody or can be shortened as a shoulder bag. And I'm gonna show you everything in a second. It's actually, <laughs> Full of stuff because I literally used it this morning to take my son to school. It's vegan leather. It's only $29 at the time of filming and it has a whole bunch of zippers and organization and that's what I love about it. I am just gonna go ahead and say that for travel, I am not a fan of the looks of the slash proof travel bags. I'm sorry, I know you guys are probably worried about all of that and everything, but they're not cute to me, and I know that shouldn't be as important as staying safe, but you guys, I've been all around the world for eight years, seven continents and 87 countries, and yes, I have been pickpocketed once, but to be honest, nobody's tried to slash my bag. Anyway, I really love this textured strap. I love how thick it is. I love how durable it is. This is totally my style. I think it's so cute. This bag comes in so many different colors of the vegan leather and has definitely a bunch of really cute little straps. What I love the most about this bag is that not only does it have this big zippered compartment on top to put all of your stuff, but there's one in the front and there's one in the back. Let me show you what's inside of it. In the front, and this is always the front because it has the logo stamped on it, is always where I keep my phone. Now, if you're traveling, you can totally put it inside in the zippered compartment, a little less easy to pickpocket. And then in the back, the same identical zipper. Here, I just have, you know, a phone charger, and that's it. Apparently, that's what needed to go on the outside. And again, this is my everyday purse right now. What I have in it, it's not what I've been traveling with. And then inside, I have two pairs of sunglasses. I have a clip for my hair. I have my travel wallet, I have granola bars because I don't want to get hangry, and I have breath mints, business cards, 
a hair tie, a pen, and a lipstick, equally important, and headache medicine because that happens when you work as much as I do. And all of this stuff fit in there and I honestly still have room. The reason why I would like this for travel is that there's more than enough room to put stuff in here. There's really easy access pockets on the outside and it's crossbody, which I love. And this feels really secure. I'm sure if somebody has, you know, a machete, they can still cut through it, but I, I'm not gonna worry. I love the gold hardware on this. I am such a gold girl and I love the size of it. It is eight and a half inches long. It is two inches deep and it is only 5.6 inches tall. If you wanna see how the crossbody looks, I am five foot 10, this is it as long as it can go and it sits down below my hip. I could still wear it like this or if I want it sling style, I can do it like a sling. I didn't think about wearing it like a sling. Wow, it really matches my shirt. Okay, so next I'm going to show you a little bit bigger of a bag from this company that I still love just as much, if maybe this is a little bit too small for you. This is the Hobo bag from the company and you know, it's the same nice, great vegan leather, and I really love the strap on this one. And it's really nice because I love neutral tones like beige and brown, but I also love black, being a hairstylist and wearing black every day. So the fact that this strap has brown neutral tones in it and it's black is definitely why I chose that. I chose this size because it is still easier to travel with. I'm not gonna bring a big, huge bag with me when I travel. I'm gonna bring something this size or I'm gonna bring something this size. This bag is 9.8, so almost 10 inches wide, three inches deep, and nine inches tall. So you're going to have a snap pocket on the outside, which is really great for essentials. There's a zippered pocket on the back, and on the back means it's gonna be closer to your body. Now, if we go inside, we have this little slip pocket here, great for organization and a zippered pocket. And this is gonna hold a lot more stuff because sometimes when I travel, this can definitely hold a lot. Of course it can, I showed you everything that it held. If I need to carry a little bit more stuff or if I'm gonna go shopping on my trip, it's very nice to have something a little bit bigger. And kind of the number one thing that I look for with crossbodies for travel is going to be, how are they gonna pack in my suitcase. So this one is gonna pack really nice and small and then it can get a lot bigger, obviously, when you fill it up. But this, if it's empty, is still gonna pack up pretty small too. So let me know if you guys have a favorite crossbody bag for travel. I'm going to be bringing this one on my trip with me in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. Now we're going to move on to their backpack because even though I was doing a video about purses, when I saw this backpack, I completely fell in love and I had to have it. So I'm gonna incorporate it into this video because it deserves a spotlight. <laughs> Look it, it's so pretty. You guys, this backpack is only $139 and it's leather and it looks like it's probably about $250. This is such an exquisite, beautiful, just soft feeling, gorgeous leather backpack. This is a beautiful color green. It has gold hardware. I am so thrilled with the quality of it. Sometimes on Amazon, we're always a little bit nervous about the quality of something, but 100% this bag is awesome. There's been a couple of reviews saying that there's some weird smells, but it, it smells like when you are walking through the part of the market when you're traveling that has the leather bags, it really does. It smells like that. Now, let's talk about the backpack a little bit. Obviously it's a backpack so it can be personal item size. Whether you want to travel with this or whether you want it just to go to work or for your everyday life. Because it's pretty slim and it's not expandable or anything so it's almost kind of small when it comes to a backpack. But for a personal item, it's perfect size. 
We're gonna get out our measuring tape because that's what we do here, even though this isn't technically that kind of video. It is about 16 inches tall. It is 11 inches wide and it's about four and a half inches deep. Obviously perfect personal item size. This could be great for pretty much any airline. It is just under three pounds at 2.98 pounds. And yes, it is water resistant. And you do have a pocket in the front that's a little bit more concealed that you can put some stuff in there. So it's the second half of the backpack and it's just a little bit slimmer and flatter. And honestly, that's why I chose this backpack as opposed to a couple of other ones because I like that you can't really see the pocket from the side. It's just a very slim, sleek, look. There are two water bottle holders on each side. Flipping it around to the back, you can see obviously there's a little handle here. These are the straps here that are adjustable. They're not padded or anything because I think that would take away from the looks of the backpack, but you do have the leather on this side. And then this is just a really nice, almost like what a seat belt feels like right here. And of course it is adjustable on the back. And I love when backpacks have these, you have a hidden little zipper here. So obviously if you're traveling or you're going through a city center or something like that, you can keep valuables in here because it's gonna be on your back. And then of course you have a little trolley sleeve right here to slip it over your favorite luggage so that you can be more hands-free at the airport. This company really won with this bag so far. Now we're gonna go ahead and open this back portion first. And this is usually where the laptop goes, but not on this bag. It opens up inside here and it's got this really beautiful, almost silky satin feeling inside, which really makes this feel even more luxurious than it is. But you have some room to put some stuff in the normal opening, but you have two little slip pockets here. And this side you have a zippered pocket that goes about halfway down. So that is the portion in the back. Now we have an additional zipper here, which is in the front. And this is where you're gonna put all of your stuff. It's the same beautiful beige, silky, satiny kind of lining. This is a little Velcro strap so that you can go ahead and put your laptop in here. It can fit up to a 15.6 inch laptop. Mine is a 13 inch MacBook Air and I'm going to slip that in there and there's still a ton of room. I could also probably fit my iPad in there if I wanted to travel with that as well. And here are the pockets on this side. You have a slip pocket here, a slip pocket here, and room for two pens. So let me just stuff it with some stuff real quick. You know, the laptop's still in there. I'm gonna put a small packing cube in there. I am going to put my electronics bag in there. I can put my Bose headphones right in there. I could put some snacks in there. I mean, this bag looks a little bit kind of small and slim, but I was just able to fit a whole bunch of stuff in there and I haven't even utilized the back of it or any of the pockets. So I, I love this bag, you guys. I haven't decided what personal item I wanna take with me on my next trip, but this one could very well be it. I'm going to link the Boss Tanton store down in the description box. And I'm also going to link my Amazon store where I featured lists of all of my travel essential items. And these are in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down below if you have any questions. I know you guys are gonna ask about the leaders of this and it's not really listed on there, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess like 21. That's what most backpacks are, to be honest. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Travel often and pack well and subscribe so that you can learn how to do that from me. See you guys later. Bye.